Hey friends, Quinn here, and I am on the Pacific Ocean up by the Canadian border on a full moon, even though it's very cloudy so one would never be able to see it, but a full moon means high and low tide. So I got up way too early to come see the low tide. I want to take you with me. Come on. Oh yeah, the tide is way out there. So the thing about low and high tide is that the same days when the tide is way out there at a minus tide or a really low tide, it also comes way up and is a huge, big high tide. The beaches up in northern Washington on the Pacific Ocean are all rock beaches. So our adventure today is to walk a mile to those rocks down there and that hole in the rock, which is way bigger than me. That's where the tide pools are, friends. Wow, the power of the ocean is amazing. All up and down this beach, there are drift logs, huge trees that have fallen, moved down the rivers into the ocean and tumbled with the crests of the waves. And on high tide, they're landed on the beach. Wow. All right, well, we made it to the exposed rock and the hole in the rock. Let's see what kind of life we can find. You know, I've often wondered if starfish actually like it when the tide goes out or if it's something that they just wait out, can't wait till it's over. Then there's seaweed. There's all kinds of seaweed. There's green seaweed. There's many different kinds of brown seaweed. And then there's red seaweed. I always find tide pools at a beach to be a very balancing way to experience the ocean because you have the huge expanse of all the waves and the horizon and then you have the details in each of the little pools. And then the rocks are always filled with barnacles. There's these kind of barnacles, and there's these, which are called gooseneck barnacles. Any coastal bioregion is different, of course, with its own animals and plant systems, but any rocky beach where the tide goes out and rocks are exposed, there's tide pools. So wave after wave after wave punched a hole through this huge rock and formed this place where I'm standing right now. There's one thing about tides, they're consistent. They come in and out, a couple times a day, every day. And I like to think of tides a lot like people's moods. If you don't like someone's mood or your own, just give it some time, I guarantee the tide will change. Speaking of which, the tide's coming in right now. I better get on the other side of that rock. From a marine sanctuary on the northwest coast of Washington State, I'm Quinn Elizabeth. See you next time.